Happy Earth Day and happy birthday to me. <laughs> Anyways, today I am so excited to be trying this product out because it's like literally sold out everywhere and I just got my hands on it. Um, you saw in my Sephora haul video, luxury Sephora haul. So if you didn't check that out, make sure to go check it out after that. But I did buy the Patrick Ta Major Sculpt Cream Contour and Powder Duo. We're gonna talk about everything and there's gonna be some timestamps down below. So before you get into it and we continue the video, make sure to like the video and to subscribe. Five beautiful videos a week. And I just wanna say that I do have the brush, but today we won't be using that. It's gonna be a separate video just because I know that a lot of you guys are not gonna be buying this and they're gonna be using either a sponge or a different brush. So we're gonna do this. First off, my color is in this shade. She's a statuesque. It is the lightest shade because I'm very, very pale. <laughs> and the packaging is just amazing. I love a good rose gold. It is such a vibe to be honest. And then when you open it, it up then it comes out like this and you have the packaging which sorry there's like fingerprints in there but this packaging is just very easy to like dirty so if you want this to be cute just do this on it and then you open it up and then you've got this beautiful big mirror and then you have the cream product with a little protector on it and then you have the powder uh, right under. For the cream there is 0 0.24 ounces of product and then the powder there's 0 0.32 ounces of product and for the occasion I obviously had to wear something pink <laughs> to match with it so I don't look too uh, out of color. <laughs> And you know, like this packaging is way bigger than, than I anticipated. I didn't think it would be that big. It looked way smaller on the website, but as you can see, it's not that tiny. <laughs> it's bigger, like look, okay, I have a tiny face and look, this is my face and this is the compact. So this one is $48 Canadian with two products. So I feel like it's a really, really good price since you have two products in one, you have a bronzer and then you have the contour cream product. Um, also, it is a modern way to sculpt the face. This cream and powder contouring do effortlessly shapes and defines for a beautiful dimensional look and as you can see I only put a foundation concealer and powder so I look kind of flat so we're gonna enhance my face structure with this beautiful product hopefully it's gonna be good major sculpt contour and powder bronzer duo is a luminous cream and powder duo uh, in complementary shades. The lighter cream shade shapes and define it while talk free powder finishes with a tint of warmth, which I love that it is talk free. A lot of people can have reactions to this, so it's amazing. And uh, how to use using the Patrick Toscope Control Brush, which like I said, we're not gonna be using. I'm gonna be another video on this. Um, apply cream contour with a gentle stamping motion. Blend to add definition when desired. Okay, I always have a hard time opening this. That's the only thing I have to say. Um, it's because the way that it is done is that it does this and this, and then I accidentally put my finger there thinking that I have to do this, but it's really like, like this, you know. Anyways, that's just a little thing. So I'm gonna go with Morphe products since some of you guys are gonna have these brushes already. Um, so Morphe Foundation Brush M439, and then a sponge which is the Morphe sponge. So something that is not too expensive. If I put my finger a little bit in it, it looks very, very light. You know, it does. there's not much of a difference when you look at it like that, but maybe they will be. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in there and then we're just gonna put a little bit here. Okay, so this is a very, very soft contour. It's gonna look very natural as I can see right now. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe a little bit, maybe with the, I can see it in real life, right? This side of my face is the more sculpted naturally way. <laughs> like my jawline is a little bit sharper there. Um, so you can see the definition here that I just put on my cheekbones. And you know what? It's actually really, really easy to put. Like I dip a little bit in there and then I just stample it on the face. It blends very easily with the products that I put on my face. Um, and if you want to know which product that I use, it's all going to be listed down below as always, especially when I do product reviews just because sometimes some product might not work together you know it's not too much so do you see the difference between this and this side <laughs> I look kind of like pale now on the other side but this is really really pretty but if you want a more dramatic look for like camera for pictures you might want to go a shade deeper um, oh my god this is so pretty 
Do you see that? It's so natural. It doesn't look like I have anything on. It blends so well with the products. I'm very impressed so far. So I just want to say that when you take a foundation brush like this, that's a little bit big, the trick, because you know, some of you guys don't want to spend money on another product, on another brush. So you can always take this brush, whatever brush you have, and you just use the side of it. So you dip uh, into the product literally like this on the side, and then you just really stample it on the side of the face. So then you don't have to buy anything else if you only have that. Um, now I'm going to try it with a sponge. I know that's not the way that you're supposed to do it, but some people really love to uh, use sponges. So I'm going to go in there and try it with the sponge. So I'm going to go and okay, I can see the product. I'm pressing the product into my face. I think I prefer the, um, the brush side because the sponge is absorbing a, a bit of the product. The problem with that, especially if you have acne prone skin, look here. So you see like, you know, I have a little bit of acne showing here and here. I don't know if you can see it. I have bright lights. So of course you're not going to be able to see every, every, everything, but um, it's still a kind of purplish, you know, I didn't color correct or anything. So that's why it's that color. And then you go on the other side and then the pink is coming out. So that means that the sponge is literally taking the foundation off my face and it's removing it. So I feel like this product in particular is going to be better with um, a brush. So, and I feel like it blends better. It looks better just like that. And then if we want, we can try to uh, do it on the nose, which is another part. So I'm just taking a little Morphe brush. This is the E62 uh, for the nose contour. And then um, we're going to go I literally never contoured my nose. <laughs> I'm like, maybe it's gonna work, maybe it's not gonna work. And I just blend that. You can also put the product, put it there, and then uh, you blend after that. Okay, girl, bumpy nose is over here. And I look more red than anything else. Okay, so if I just take back this sponge, there's a bit of product in there, so I just, and then I diffuse it a bit. I mean, okay, okay, I guess. It does work. Uh, this color is literally perfect for me. Um, and it's good because contour colors are better when they're a bit more on the cooler side. So this is just very, very beautiful. It looks, I don't know if you can see it, but like if I just go like this and I show you like this, I know it's weird angles. <laughs> um, it doesn't look weird and it looks very natural. Let's do the forehead real quickly. So I made a mistake right about now. Um, I didn't stemple. I just smoothed my brush all across. And what happened is it kind of moved the foundation. I had a pimple there. So make sure to stemple if you have acne because it's really not going to go anywhere. <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. So let me try with this brush now. I'm going to take the clean side. This one has a little bit bronzer, but... Let me try this powder just a second, just to add a little bit of warmth and glow. I feel like this powder is not totally matte. Uh, there is some shimmer in there and I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks and stemple it. I love to stemple. Very nice when you have texture, it's just gonna blend in better. So this is more of a sheer, I would say buildable, color so then you can work very slowly and then build your way up which most of the time a powder that is really sheer buildable as a bronzing powder is better just because you have you're gonna have a more flawless finish and then you can just work your way in way better than if you're using anything else there's no fallout and it stays in the pan very nicely a bronzed glow i put a bit of ooh. This is pigmented. I didn't think it would be that pigmented now on <laughs> my nose. Oh my god. Okay, this is, um, it's buildable, but if you go in, you go in, so. And then it barely made a dent, I would say, in the powder, so the dent, you know, like the embossment is gonna stay there for a while, and it looks just absolutely, like, stunning. It is stunning. I'm telling you guys, it is crazy. Um, I think I've never looked more snatched and natural in my entire life. <laughs> like, let me just go put some blush from a, the Natasha Denona Dominant Blush Palette. I decided to put the bronzing powder right away just because I wanted to see if 
if I mix right after, if it's gonna be crazy or not. Sorry, my palette is dirty, but I'm gonna go with this cream blush and then this powder blush uh, on top and I'm gonna go with my sponge because I like to apply this blush with my sponge. So I'm gonna go right on top here, on top here and add a little bit to see if it's easy to blend. Okay, so I put a little bit and as you can see, you can see the pink kind of rosy cheeks coming in. And then I'll just take my blush brush and then a bit. Okay, that looks amazing. Okay, tell me down in the comments down below if I ever looked that snatched before. Like, did I ever looked that good and snatched before? I don't think so. I mean, do I look like Patrick Ta <laughs> yet? Like, oh my God. Okay, so this is crazy. Um, Number one, I really like the contour and bronzer duo so far fave 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 um this is crazy um do i look snatched or what like tell me down in the comments down below what you think about this but i think it's pretty awesome so is this the glow that we've been all waiting for look at how snatched it looks it's crazy oh my god do you see that do you see that do you see that I am literally shook with this product. It's so amazing. It's it's so natural. It doesn't look crazy. If you guys want to see the real deal, I'm going to use my phone and recording. Okay, this is really bad lighting and really bad angle, <laughs> but that's what I'm going to look like. Do I even look good now? So this is a little video showing you my skin tone, my skin texture and everything. Of course it looks kind of different with these bright lights. It's, <laughs> the phone camera is so ugly just because of the aperture and everything. So anyways, you see what it looks like. Um, and in bright lights, it looks kind of like, but this is really, really bright. It's not normal lighting. So if I take another mirror, let's say, it looks really, really, really good. And if, for example, you put too much or whatever, you could put a little bit of setting powder on top, blend it, and it would just look amazing. So uh, what do I think about this Patrick Ta Contour Bronzer Duo? I think it's amazing. Um, I think if you want to invest in one single product in particular, that would be the product that I would be recommending you just because you have both products in one. You have the cooler tones for the cream contour, which I love cream contours. I feel like cream contours are better than just a uh, liquid or a powder just because it, it is easier to work with. I mean, it, it's not going to look cakey and then it, it's better that just because you put it under and then if you put powder on top, it's just going to last all day long and it's going to last way longer than if you just put a uh, powder contour or anything like that. So that is what I think about this um, Patrick Ta contour duo and it's so amazing and we I highly 100% recommend it. I'm going to be using it um, literally every day. I have a hair. Highly, highly recommend it. Very easy to stack, very easy to, um, you know, put away since of the packaging. It's very big, two products in one, big mirror. So if you're going on a trip or whatever, then this mirror would be great to do your full face as well. So it's multi-purpose. Anyways, I love it. So uh, tell me what you think about this product. Does it look good? Do you think it looks good on me? Um, I don't know what it looks in the editing, but in real life, it looks really, really good. And I showed you with the bad lighting <laughs> with my camera, this is the worst it could look like. Literally, this is the worst it could look like. So um, anyways, that is what it is. Um, and I'm going to be wishing you a happy Earth Day. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for everybody subscribed, staying subscribed and watching my content. I really appreciate it. And if you share with your friend, if they're looking for this product or any product that I reviews, make sure to share my videos. It really means the world to me. Um, and make sure to like the video, comment down below what you think. And subscribe if you're not already because five beautiful videos a week are always there with you so thank you so much again for watching i really really love you beauties and i will definitely see you in the next one bye beauties